Hey y'all, it's your girl Sandy Stays here. Let's talk about one of the ways to get over your fear so that you can go after your dreams. One thing I've learned from my life experiences is that growth takes vulnerability. From my personal life experience to professional life, I grew up with a lot of insecurities. And from what I've learned from all the work I have personally done on myself, I mean, years and years of counseling, counseling and personal development, what I learned is that our childhood shapes our future. The experiences we had growing up, the traumas, how we were raised, the things we went through, all experiences, I mean, the good, the bad, the ugly, the ugly, like, you know what ugly look like. I'm talking about the ugly. All the events that had huge impacts and influences on what kind of person we became as adults. For example, let me just share with you a personal example. See, I was born in Haiti, and my primary language is Creole. That's the accent you're hearing right now, okay? So, I had to learn English when I came to the United States, y'all, I mean, really, plus I was so Haitian, I mean, so Haitian, I didn't understand, I didn't understand this culture at all, I like, see you were hearing this, like, the accent coming out right now, see, look, I was placed in third grade class where the majority of the kids spoke English, and when one of them asked me one time where I was born, I replied, I was born in Haiti. <laughs> You think that's funny? Well, you know what? Guess what? They thought it was funny too. So, but it was situations like that that made me so insecure that I became the quietest kid in the school for, for the longest time ever, really, because I was so self-conscious and insecure. I went mute. I mean, I went mute, y'all. I bet you can't imagine that by how I talk now. But look, I got bullied. I got picked on because my mom would dress me so funny and our clothing came from yard sales and charities and hand-me-downs. And I'd be going to school with me, smash clothing, you know, the little rub bins in the hair. Like, I was a mess. Okay, look, I remember that time in sixth grade, I wore high heels. <laughs> look, I, I literally wore high heels to Bush Gardens, which is an amusement park, y'all. I mean, look, I told y'all I was in culture. I mean, look, I was always extra, but I wasn't culture. Look, let me tell you something. I mean, I was a mess all through elementary and middle school. Because, see, look, I grew up in the projects, okay? We're going to get serious here. I grew up in the project with, with parents who could not afford any better, but they were hard-working folks. I mean, hard-working people, right? They were migrant workers. And also because of this, I learned by example to work hard, too. And I became a hard worker. But also from this, I also learned that if I wanted something, I had to figure it out for myself and what that translated into going into my adult life was that I had to figure out everything on my own as opposed to asking for help. And here's the biggest reason I learned early on that I didn't want to be a burden, a burden, a burden, a burden. See, when you see, when you have your parents slaving for 16 hours a day in a cornfield, picking corns just to make 20 bucks a day, you kind of learn not to be a bother when they come home, right? I mean, that's understandable for anybody. So you see, it's not that I was always rejected when I asked for something, but, you know, however, the times that I did ask and the time I got pushed back when I asked, I felt rejected enough that it left an imprint. An imprint on my mind and in my heart. So much so, I then created a story about that. A story that said that I am a burden. Hey, Cindy, don't even think about approaching that person about this issue or that issue. You better go figure it out yourself because you don't want to be a bother, do you? You see, that is the kind of story I would say to myself, y'all. That's the kind of story I did. And now, I want you to think about, just think for a second, just think about for a second, what kind of things are you saying to yourself that's keeping you from reaching your goals? Maybe it's time to change your story too. See, look, although I am a big believer in asking for help, and when people ask me for help, I'm almost always ready to give it. However, I was a horrible receiver. I mean, a horrible receiver, okay? Giving was always natural to me, but receiving was 
awkward. I mean, it was so bad, y'all. I even felt awkward taking compliments. And even when I paid to get help, I still struggle with asking people, the people that I paid, I still struggle with asking them for help. You know, so this is something that I had to work on and I still do. But I must say that I am much better now. Okay, I'm way much better at this now than I was before, but it took a lot of work. So here's the point of all of this. Growing takes vulnerability. See, I'm trying to get my English right. It takes vulnerability. There aren't many people that's living and breathing that don't have some form of insecurity. Most of us do. It just is what it is. However, if we are to live our best lives to our fullest potential, if you want to make an impact, make a difference in somebody else's life. See, some of us are tired of being selfish, all right? So if we want to make a difference in somebody else's life and leave our footprints here before we leave this earth, then we must work hard to push past, past our insecurities so that we can do the things that we are afraid to do, okay? See, look. Y'all know this, life is short and unpredictable. And because none of us know when our time will be up, you cannot afford to wait for that day to get over your fears, to go after your dreams, or do that thing you want to do. You, my friend, have to go after your dreams right now. I mean, right now. Okay? And do that thing you've been wanting to do so that you can get over your fear. See, you got to go after the dream to get over the fear. Not the opposite way around, okay? And that's what I am doing by starting this channel. Look, I'm going to be vulnerable with y'all. See, I've been wanting to start this channel over 10 years ago. But you know what I did all those years? I gave myself a lot of excuses. A lot of excuses why I couldn't. And you know what's the worst excuse you can give yourself? A good excuse. A good one. The worst excuse you can ever give yourself is a good excuse. So let's stop it with all the good excuses that's holding you back. And let's go for the dream. I mean, why not? Let's go for it, right? Only person stopping you is you, right? So let's go for it. So now remember, when you break through your fears, when you break through your insecurities and allow yourself to be vulnerable, you will... Be that much closer to unleashing your crazy. That's right, unleash your crazy. And by crazy, what I'm talking about is creating the rare, authentic, and zestful you. So comment below by sharing with us that dream that you want to go after for this year. Comment and share with us, okay? I want to hear it. Everybody want to hear it. And if you like my video, please share, subscribe, share, ta-da-da-da. All right? Take care.